Hey everybody and welcome to Kevin's Auto Channel. I'm Kevin Walters and today I want to talk about the digital display that is found in a 2018 and up Ford Mustang GT Premium equipped with the 401A package. Maybe you have an S550 Mustang and you had one put in aftermarket by another company. It works the same way. So let's get into this video and find out what this digital display is all about. Let's hear that beautiful cold start. So here we have the standard view in the 2018 and up digital dash that is found uh, in a 401A package Mustang. Now a 401A package is the top tier GT premium uh, trim package and of course it will come with the best of the best and the digital display is one of those. So. Let's get into it and find out what this thing is all about. Now, on your steering wheel, you will see a couple of uh, buttons here. You will see your pony button and your settings button. Your settings button is gonna be more of your basic appearance and all that good stuff. Uh, the pony button will have a few extra things. You can uh, change up the color, uh, you can get a hold of your track apps uh, you can show some extra performance gauges and things like that so let's start with the settings button now as you can see the first setting you will see is your trip and fuel info now if we go back that is what's showing here in the center of the screen your trip and fuel info it tells you your MPGs, uh, how many uh, miles you've been going, your trip meter, how uh, long you've been uh, on this particular maybe tank of gas since you've reset it last. Now, if you hit the down button on the dis on the uh, steering wheel, you will have a second one, and I never reset this one. I just leave it running. I've it's been running since I bought the car back in late May of 2021. We hit the down button again, you're gonna see your fuel economy meter and you can see I'm averaging 17 miles to the gallon and I have 168 miles left on this tank of gas. You will see your tire pressures if you hit the down button one more time and then of course you can turn it off if you hit the down button one more time and if we do it one more, we'll go right back to the beginning. So that was your first setting in the settings menu. If we go back to the settings menu, you will see driver's assist. And this is where you can uh, set different safety features, your blind spot monitoring, pre-collision assist, uh, which can go off. If the Mustang thinks you're fixing to hit the car in front of you, even though you may be a little ways behind it, then it will go off. Got your cross traffic, cruise control settings. Uh, this one does have adaptive cruise control. Uh, this one does have the smart, uh, I think they call it the safe and smart package, which has all of that stuff built into it uh, and comes standard starting in 2021. Uh, your driver's alerts, rear uh, parking gauge, uh, your automatic wipers. So you can find all of those settings underneath the driver assist. 
Now, of course, the next one, you can change your speedometer to kilometers if you want to. Advanced settings. Uh, you can change different things uh, in the uh, car, such as, you know, this is how you set your oil, reset your oil life, your settings for your remote start, um, climate control. So when you remote start the vehicle, if it's cold out, it will automatically turn on the heated steering wheel, the heated seats, and start pumping heat into the car. Uh, if it's cold out, it'll just turn on the ventilated seats and the uh, air conditioning. So that's a pretty neat feature. So under your seats and wheel, if you have your seat pulled up or whatever, uh, closer to the steering wheel, the dash, uh, whenever you shut the car off, it will automatically uh, go back to the farthest position for easy entry and exit. So duration, so it's automatically uh, set for 15 minutes. So if it's longer than 15 minutes, the car will shut off after uh, those 15 minutes, or you can have it set for five or 10 minutes. Just depends on, I guess, how cold it is uh, in your area or how hot it gets. And also with the uh, gas prices the way they are, you may want to set it to five minutes so it doesn't burn as much gas, but still warms the car up a little bit. Your tire mobility kit, how long uh, you want to uh, uh, keep that in the trunk for before you change it out or service it. And windows, uh, you can open the windows with your remote. I will show that in another video. So also under advanced settings, you've got the My Key. My Key status, so what this does is it programs all of your settings to your key fob. So the car comes with two key fobs whatever like your seat memory and all that other stuff radio controls uh radio stations that are saved there's presets all of that will be stored to your key fob and when that key enters the car your settings will come up so if your husband and wife or whatever boyfriend girlfriend y'all both have a key the car will be personalized to your key fob <clears throat> display setup so you can change the measurement units, uh, temperature, you know, those units, tire pressure, those units, what language it's in. So just basic display setup. And that is your main settings menu underneath the digital dash. Now, let's move on to this other button here the pony button. Now, if we go into the pony button, this is where the good stuff is. So, my mode. Um, my mode is basically your preferences. So there again, with your key fob, you can set up my mode. And whenever you start the car up, it will automatically go to those settings. Do you want the car to start up? Uh, if you have active exhaust, do you have it set up for quiet start, for full on track start, loud as it can be, how your uh, steering feels, what mode are you in, are you in sport mode, are you in regular mode, are you in track mode, you know, whatever your my mode is, when you start the vehicle, boom, it will be in that mode. Track apps, this is the fun stuff. So, of course, you've got your accelerator timer, so you can time yourself going to 0 to 30, 0 to 60, or 0 to 100, the eighth mile, the quarter mile, and, of course, you can view or clear those results. Brake performance. You can measure how fast this car will stop uh, in the 60 to 0 or the 100 to 0. So, you can make a game out of these two uh features right here the accelerator timer and the brake performance can you outdo yourself line lock line lock is good stuff um, line lock basically you know you hold your hold your brake down as hard as you can it will set off line lock it will lock the front wheels and you can do a burnout to your heart's content when you are through with your burnout you can hit the ok button and you will roll out of that burnout. So if you're at the drag strip and you need to heat up your tires, there you go, line lock.
Next, you have your lap timer. So you can have, uh, if you've got tracks near your house or nearby, in a different city or whatever, you can test your results, how fast you can get around the track. And you can have up to three tracks set in this car. And then of course you can view and clear the results with each track. And your start option. You've got a drag race countdown, a racetrack countdown. Your track apps, you know, and you're doing your timers. How do you want it to count down? Do you want it to go three, two, one? Do you want the drag tree? What do you want? Now, the next setting under the pony menu is gauges. Now, as you know, on the home screen, we had uh, the trip and fuel information showing. So if we hit show gauges now, boom, you can have different gauges in the center of your digital display. And also, not only that, but if we go back to gauges, we can configure gauges and you can set up different gauges that will show up in that center cluster. So whatever info you want to view, you can override and change out your gauges. Now, you can have up to three gauges showing at a time. Or you can have just one gauge, whatever you want. But they will all be the same size and you can fit up to three gauges on your display. My color. This is one thing I love about the Mustang, is you can change how your cluster appears. So, your primary color. Right now, I am set to green. So, that means, if I back back out of this, that means all of the interior of each gauge is going to be green. So if we go back to my color, so your secondary color, my secondary color is set to purple. And of course that is going to outline the gauges. Now also we have ambient light and we can change that light color. I also have that set to purple. Now your ambient lighting is going to control the lights that are in the floorboards underneath the dash and it's going to control the lights that are in the door handles and the cup holder. So that is where you can change those. And with each of these, you know, you have all these colors built into it. You've got ice blue, you've got white, you've got green, you've got purple, blue, orange, and red. If you don't want one of those colors, let's say you have a, a brand or something that you want to make that the color of your interior lighting, then you can go into my color and you can uh, configure your my color. Now, to do my color, you go down to create my color. And this is where you can get into changing whatever you want, um, your different hues, tints, shades, and you can have up to three my colors set. Now the final category underneath the pony menu is cluster appearance. Now, there are different cluster appearances. You can have, if we choose this option, which is standard, we do that, we back out of the menu. This is your normal drive mode. If we go down here and we hit our, let's see, hit our mode button over here. As we go through these, we got normal, we got sport plus, you notice, there's your sport plus appearance. Then if we do it again, we go into track. Track has another appearance. And then if we do it again, we go into drag strip mode and that's the same appearance as track. And then we also have snow and wet mode and that will go back to your normal mode look. So let's say you prefer the look of the track mode and you want that display to stay looking like track mode all the time, no matter what mode you're in. 
Well, if we go there and we go to your cluster appearance, you can do that. We can, I'm in normal mode. Boom, we've got the track appearance and the digital display while we are still in normal mode. So that is pretty neat. I love the digital dash in the Mustangs. They are so customizable. The possibilities are endless. And you can make this car truly your car. So I hope you learned something today. I hope this video was informative and educational for you. I hope that, you know, if you're thinking about getting a Mustang, if you've already got a Mustang and you want a digital dash in yours or you've already got a digital dash and you didn't realize it could do all of that, I hope this video helped you out. Well, I'm Kevin Walters. You've been watching Kevin's Auto Channel. As always, I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one. I am excited to announce for 2022 that Kevin's Auto Channel has finally opened up a merch store. That is right. You can go online to boop, the website listed right there across your screen. And it's also linked in the description below. You can go there. I believe I've made seven or eight um, designs for the uh, merch store so far. And... In each design, there are hoodies, t-shirts, I uh, believe sweatshirts, no long sleeve t-shirts, hats, uh, stickers, all sorts of things. So be sure to check out the uh, website, the merch store for Kevin's Auto Channel. Pick you up some merch. Now, here's the thing. Uh, I am... I went to school for graphic design, so right now I'm trying my hand at designing the the uh, the merch. So the designs that you see are my designs; they're my original designs. So we'll see how this goes, and uh, leave comments down below, please. Let me know what you think about it. Um, and yeah, be sure and pick you up some merch. Support the channel. Uh, we're growing. Uh, we're about to hit 2,000 subscribers, so we'll see what 2022 brings.